The heavens are yours, the earth is also yours. The world and all it contains, you have founded them. That's Psalm 89.11. We're sitting here in San Luis Obispo, SLO Farmer's Market. We just ate, hi Kate, <laughs> celebrating her daughter's 21st birthday and uh, been all over the place and all over Pismo Beach, Avia Beach. And when we were walking down the beach in Pismo, we just saw these dried up like skins. And then we went further and there was these things called, what were they called? <laughs> like angel, like these weird blue, they're called like the angel of the wind or something. Something I'd never seen or heard of. We were at the Morro Bay, the by the wind sailor, um, these blue, like thousands and thousands all along the shoreline, just they're alive, but they don't move. And then they apparently shed this skin. I'll have to look up more about it, but it was just fascinating. Part of God's creation I've never seen. I'm 49 years old. When we were at Morro Bay, we saw, we saw sea otters. We saw ground squirrels everywhere, a ton of seagulls. Um, there was something else there that was just a, a marvel, just God's creation. Oh, there was these things that I never see. Sea anemones. What is it? Sea anemone. Sea sea anemone. Sea anemones. They're basically these living organisms that I don't think have nerves, so they don't feel. But if you step on them, they squish up and they squirt you. So my foot got drenched. It's just amazing how much of God's creation we have yet to understand. And that's just on the surface of what we can see. And so this is just a quick, um, quick message for today. Uh, get outside. The more you see of God's creation, the more in awe you will be when you are surrendered to that truth that he is the creator of all things. And it's such a blessing to be able to be one of those things and worshiping God through Jesus Christ. So I hope this finds you well. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.